Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 5 of Trigon Stampede. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, you fucking mouse. 3, 2, 1, go. I'm guessing we're going to focus on the kid. Uh oh. There better not be blood on his hand. I like the way this is going. What on? Uh, the kid might die? Is that what's going to happen today? Cause it looks like signs are um um pointing to yes. We killing a child today again. What are we doing, show? I mean, because it, okay, so it's so funny when I, I looked at last week's preview one more time last night before I went to sleep. And you know how music always, like, kind of gives you or clues you in on how an episode is going to be? Yeah, the music was very dramatic, but tense. Kind of horrifying, too. So I was like, okay, this might be scary. Maybe. Not like when Knives showed up and literally killed several freaking people scary because, I mean, that was scary good, but still scary. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get, like, blood spewing, gore popping ice that I need in my life, <laughs> especially after the day I had today. Um, no, I don't think that's going to happen. I would like for that to happen, though. This seems very, like, cult-esque. I know, dang, we ain't got, like, music. Please? That's so cute, Lena. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, that's the thing from the break. Yeah. Or better than ass, even though that's probably true. Mm. See, my first thing is, why are we walking towards it? Don't touch it. Don't touch it.
just know. Hey guys, let's go over there. We're just walking. No. Gosh. <laughs> oh my god. I have a bad idea. Oh. Child of blessing. Okay. The kid is see, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The kid is the child of blessing. Just like Misa. Misa's the child of God. We all know it. See, things like that, that's when you're too far gone. So, um, I feel like everybody's gonna die except this kid in this town. Right? That, that's a sign. Oh my god, Meryl, you so smart. Let's go home. Get back in the car and just drive. Excuse me. Roberto, see, see. Jesus Christ. The one time that you wish you could just jump over the fence. Oh my God. Yeah, but that's your kid, though. Damn. Oh, is it just gonna get smaller? Yeah! Um. Hold up, wait, so, that's the kitty telling him, yes, let's go check on him. What if he would've went like, blah, 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 what you gonna do?
Right. Oh my God. Listen to Nicholas for once. one time where I've been like, you know, maybe we should have stayed in the car. Because if this was a horror movie, 50 out of 50, we would survive. Yes. Maybe. See, that then just fucking see here is about everybody. Like, yeah, I know. It's sweet. Precious baby boy. I love you. I still love you so much. But still. I felt for this kid, like, damn, he, he's giving me feels to March from January Dirty. Except we might get, like, a happy ending with this kid. He might not die. But then at the same time, I feel like I spoke too soon. Oh hell nah, you taking them back home? Nah. No 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 わざわざ<笑> ばっかなくてもいいよ、困って。いらんけど大丈夫。ママ、先輩来てた。See, like she ain't even embrace it. Problem. Problem. I mean, once again, you can't save everyone. I don't want to say this. This is gonna. This is gonna make me cry. I don't want to cry. No. I'm gonna shoot him. And they're going to do that, but still test them. <laughs> Her? No. He's him. 
Duh. You just feel like, yes. Burn, baby. Burn. Disco Inferno. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're going to be this big behind thing and you're just going to kill everything. Have the illness, my ass. He turns into this big behind buff looking dude and he just kills everybody. Well, I'm glad we didn't get to see that part because that probably would have creeped me out. Oh, damn. He about to kill your mom. No! Oh, this episode hurts. Jesus. See a dead body around here, aren't we? Hmm? Oh! And see, it's worse just thinking about it. He has to kill him. And it's just fucked up now. Like, yeah, he's too far gone. He's a monster now. And you still have to kill him at the end of the day. But that's still a kid. That's so messed up. Realistically, you would have died right then and there. Even if saving you means killing you. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, um, 
um, let me go ahead and say that, that last role though, sir, he needs an award just for that, I'm sorry, that shit was too damn good, like, the, the feels, the feels, oh my god. Anytime when you watch SAO and he just screams Asana, and I'm just like, yes, give him a ward every single fucking time. Yes, I. So much! Because you were suffering. Exactly. so um emotional yes you hurt me yes once again don't get attached to anybody okay hey So, yeah, once again, emotion, emotions, that hurt. Was not expecting that to go down this way. Because at first, like, okay, 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 okay. At first I was confused until I finally connected the dots and I was like, oh, we're going back and forth, yes. This person right here is this kid, yes. But, I mean, oh, God, I, that hurt. That hurt. You can't be attached to anyone. No one. Because they're all going to die again. Oh, okay. This is good. This is not expecting all of that. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, just, you, you feel for Vash as a character for every person who he eventually, like, has a relationship or even a friendship with or just like a bond with because the next time he sees them again 50 out of 50 they're not going to be the same person because, well, now i understand because at first i'm a, i'm a, i'm a, okay no, no no i'm like this in the moment i was siding with nicholas i was like yeah you gotta kill him you have to kill him it's either bash is dying or rollo is dying it's a it's a hard very emotional choice and so no matter what you have to deal this off um you have to deal with those consequences whether it's good bad or in between and such that's pretty much life in a nutshell you know whether you're cutting the cord on someone's life you know because they say hey it's best for me or just anything and you kind of feel bad because you're the last person who, who saw them before the past and you feel like it's your fault and you're the reason on why they died. And that hurts. Truly. Jesus. Like, God. I'm not gonna cry. So let's talk about that. I ain't cry. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I really thought it was. I think inside I I was crying. I think if we, if we literally looked inside me, I'd probably be crying like a damn baby. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it's too much. But, I mean, 
even after that, once Vash just like, why did you shoot him? You shouldn't have shot him. Like, yes, I'm over here, but at the same time, I'm in the middle because it's like, yes, we need to kill him. You would have died. But still, at the same time, why did you shoot him? There could have been a way, another way. There's always another way. But in that moment, the only way was killing him. That's it. It sucks. It really, truly sucks because I'm thinking like, oh, okay, no, this kid that we're looking at right here in this moment, this ain't the, that ain't him. I'm thinking that was somebody else, like for at least for the first couple of minutes up until we found out that was the kid, I thought that was somebody else. I thought the kid was still alive or we were going to see him die. Like he would be dead and his body would have been somewhere in ish. And I've been like, yo, mm -hmm, here it comes. But no, y'all literally said, no, 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 It's not that. It's this. Like, seriously. Emotions. Like, literally, once again. I mean, like, even though we said in the first episode with this new version of Ash giving us the feels of, like, a Marvel character, this episode literally gave me feels to, like, fucking, what, Spider-Man 1? In a way? Yes? Because, I, I don't know, I haven't seen Spider-Man 1 in a long ass time. Or, no, 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 let's compare, okay, the amazing Spider-Man 1, because, okay, I, I still remember that recently and such. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, when Gwen's dad died, and yeah, 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 like, once again, you can't save everybody as much as you want to. You can't save them all, which sucks. Or even, you know, <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. You know, Miles couldn't save his uncle. Um, spoiler alert, if you didn't know that. But yes, no matter what, you're a superhero. You can't save everybody, which is like the saddest thing in the world. Because it's like, um, yeah. Definitely for my hero, probably feels that way, yeah. Yeah. I need to stop. I mean, especially with when we're finally going in the fucking anime. Like, yeah, I mean, we already talked about that like earlier on Twitter, but yes. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that's where I actually turned episode five of Troy Gun Stampede. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday. Thank God it will be off next Saturday for episode six. Bye, guys.